Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and this video is going to be about how to use the information from a general reading and not to get confused. As you can um, understand, this is a very sensitive topic, especially if you would like to use the presence of so many readers, so many channels that are really giving precious information. But um, very often when we listen, for example, for a certain period or for a certain uh, area of our life, we listen to these three different um, points of um, our image that are representing the three most important points of our personal zodiac or our own personal you know composite energetically speaking so we get to a certain period and we want to know what to expect in this period we have our favorite reader a channel that we trust and we go and we check and let's just do it so that I am more, you know, um, supported in what I'm trying to point to your attention. The, it's not the coincidence that I put it like that. First one is the ascendant, second one is the sun sign, and third one is the moon sign. And so, month of April, we want to know what to expect. We get to our reading for the ascendant, and we have, let's say, the conclusion at the end and there is always a certain you know summarized explanation or explaining on the side of the reader what would be the general overall uh, you know point that they have to present in a certain uh, reading for a certain sign for a certain period and then in April your ascendant is the Emperor in reverse it doesn't have to be this energy for any particular case is just an example and what is the Emperor in reverse this is the energy of someone that it's not going to make it either because they don't have the mm, resources or the wisdom or for some other reason everything that they put as resources as knowledge it's not gonna be successful for various reasons there the details are in the very reading and yet the, as the ascendant for the month of April is telling you that uh, it's solid no. It's like no guarantee of success, exactly the opposite. You're most likely going to lose your temper. You're going to run out of resources because for whatever reason you don't have the right um, general understanding of what exactly to achieve, how to achieve it, all the little details in the big plan or don't have plan at all summarizing the ascendant says no what is the ascendant the ascendant actually it's um, your physical body or how you do things on a mundane practical tangible level it's like for example the ascendant is the vessel that carries your soul, your mind, your emotions, everything on earth. This is how other people see you. And this is the approach that you usually take uh, when you have to deal with any situation, uh, whatever the case. This is the mechanics that you're going to use, the um, literal way you do things here on earth. And this is what this ascendant point of your chart is representing and to be even more uh, precise the ascendant represents or it's about 50 percent uh, influence on your total energetic image so to speak the composite of all these three points and the final you know result of them so <coughs> your ascendant literally influence around 50 percent about around 50 percent in your total image or the total energetic inflow the impact that is gonna have on your overall image for this period month of april so in month of april ascendant no this is 50 percent of who you are we get to the sun sign and then 
uh, we have for the sun sign reading and as a final result the star and what is the star great opportunity for you to heal uh, it's a opportunity for you to present your star like qualities to be successful to be recognized for these qualities uh, also this is uh, uh, the energy of um, one that it's um, aligning their actions their um, plan their vision to a higher realm they are being supported to this higher realm they are literally being guided by the star by the stars and then on top of that this is a, a very serious indication that uh, you're highly supported by the invisible world by god by the universe whatever you want to call it so for the month of april the ascendant uh, is telling you no but the sun sign is telling you solid yes very positive lucky energy and um, the sun sign is actually responsible for the understanding the awareness of who you are it's like uh, i am i am about this is what this this is your consciousness this is your mind this is your um true self and on top of it is connected with directly with source since we're talking about the sun and sun the sun literally represents god and is the source so you get the idea and on top of that to be more precise the sun sign represents 25 percent of your total energetic image or uh, the information fro coming from the reading that it's to do with your sun sign is influencing with around 25% power the total energetic impact of your total um, strength for this period. So, month of April, ascendant 50%, no, 25%, yes, solid yes. Hold that thought. We get we're getting to the moon sign and of course this is representing or influencing another 25 percent of your total energetic image or energetic impact uh, talking about the month of april and uh, then we get to the very information of it and the information is nine of wands in upright position which is the energy of someone that it's uh, strong enough to protect something that is very important to them at the same time you know they're not making any move they are just wondering what they should do next this is a very uh, short description of this energy it's not important what is important is that uh, trying to balance this result with the ascendant and with the uh, sun sign the moon sign is giving you 50 50 so to speak it's not solid yes or it's not solid no it's around let's say 50 percent uh yes 50 percent no it's maybe and what is the moon sign representing for you personally this is the subject the subjective understanding about how uh you feel how you um react on things uh, these are your emotions and of course they are what they are they are very personal they are very of course subjective and they are mm, probably what makes us all different with, uh, when we compare each other to um, others this is probably the first thing that we recognize our subjective understanding for example who we are who are these other people are and um, you understand it's very personal and um, let's say not uh, really um, let's say solid um, and um, very you know precise uh, with comparison to everything else because it's our personal and imperfect understanding of who we are and who you who other people are and what we do why we do it you know the subjective point of understanding that we have so 
you hold that thought, right? Mathematically looking in uh, the solution in this case, in this scenario, would be Ascendant 50%? No. Sun sign 25% influence impact on us? Solid, yes. Moon sign 25% total impact influence over uh, our total energetic image? Not even, I mean, 25% uh, influence, but uh, it's um, maybe. Maybe if we say it's 50 from 25%, this is 12.5%. Together with this 25, this is like 37.5% calculation. And 50% is no, and around 40, it's yes so to speak you know because this is yes or no 50 percent is yes so around 38 percent we have yes and mathematically speaking we should be saying well the month is not gonna go uh, as well or that well at all because 50 percent is solid no and the yes and the positive inflow the impact of it is not enough to compete with this 50% total, you know, negative uh, energetic inflow. And here comes the interesting part. I will explain very, very shortly. I hope you understand everything and you follow me on that. When it comes to your ascendant, actually, and uh, if this is impacting you, and uh, to do with your physical presence on earth your vessel also as a main area of uh, importance in your personal horoscope and your chart this is also area in which you can't change anything what i'm saying is that you cannot change your body with another body and uh, all of a sudden to uh, let's say undress your soul and put it in another suit another body you can improve or change your characteristic of your body but you cannot change your body right you cannot change your physical uh, presentation here on earth correct hold that thought we go to the moon sign of course again and the moon sign influencing 25 percent over our total energetic image for this period it's also unchangeable why because no matter how you control your emotions it doesn't matter if you are in a complete control of them or you suppress them or any other variation of zillion you cannot change the way that you feel about yourself about things about uh, the world about everything i'm talking about particular moment about particular uh, period about particular context so for the month of uh, april uh, the one that we are giving as an example you cannot change the emotional understanding of the support that the energies presented by this card are going to have as an impact of your total energetic image right and also on top of that you cannot change the ascendant but then we get to the really important part we get to the sun sign and um, believe it or not this is the only area from these three points of your horoscope your personal chart that you can change and you can uh, support yourself through your free will to really manipulate to your benefit and i'm talking about manipulation uh, but it might be a pure understanding it might be awareness it might be a uh, intuitive approach but yet here is uh, the area in your chart from which by knowing, knowing what I'm telling you now, and you can check it for yourself from other sources, you actually have the uh, opportunity, the ability to influence, to support, to change, to improve, to um, elevate, 
whatever you want to do because the sun sign is your consciousness your understanding your direct connection up with source and not only that this is the area where you can literally uh, support influence improve all these things that I already mentioned how by changing your mind changing your understanding changing your and uh, awareness about a certain thing about certain question about for example who you are what do you represent why are you here if you have these questions feeling emotionally about it unchangeable or how it's gonna be expressed on earth unchangeable but here you can modify you can edit I mean you can do whatever you want this is the area where by knowing yourself you actually can support and influence uh, the total energetic inflow for the month of April in order to improve and take the best out of it and so to be more precise I'm gonna give you an example with myself and of course you can um, use this example to play your own charts and your own characteristics and I'll explain before I do this uh, mm, practical uh, approach or leveling to exactly the situation in order for you to understand where I'm trying to lead you to so I have Capricorn Sun my ascendant is Aries rising and my moon is uh, moon in cancer that's just for uh, more you know rich understanding so I want to change my job my career actually in the month of April I want to change uh, what I'm doing professionally in order to make money and uh, I want to do it in the month of April and it's something new completely new that I never done before but I want to re really put my energy and will behind it and succeed in it I'm a Capricorn so I go to the month of April and I hear these three readings and then my ascendant uh, prognosis are telling me that uh, solid no I don't have the overall uh, idea plan of uh, mm, success how to get there I might not have the resources or m I might run out of resources or for whatever other reason if this is subjective detail that you can use for yourself I'm not gonna make it even if I try everything in, if I push myself whatsoever it's no then I get to my moon sign and my moon sign is 50 50 it's not supporting me in this way I know that I'm a cancer moon very very uh, let's say sensitive to everything around me and in this case I cannot count on the support of coming of the energetic uh, inflow from this uh, you know evaluation this prediction this uh, energetic uh, calculation if you like to support myself in order to take this new uh, step in my life and start a new career and then we get to then I get to my sun sign and here is the key thing you need to be aware of who you are but like really you need to know who you are what you made of or you need to be in the process of discovering this is highly supportive in all aspects of your life but in this case it's also very beneficial why because knowing that I'm a Capricorn and I always aim for the best and I'm always uh, you know put my will my ambition my energy behind something and it usually succeeds but uh, of course it doesn't always succeed because sometimes I change the approach by doing something I understand that it's not what I want to do and I don't succeed in it I cut it off I do something else that's the reason why but if I really want something if I really like uh, put my eyes on a certain price certain goal certain whatever that is I most likely am going to succeed 
and this is my understanding of who I am. This is my um, awareness of all the little details that are the very essence of who I am. And based on that, I can face my areas rising ascended. There is solid no with this understanding that, okay, on a practical Monday physical level, I have no. Maybe because I don't have enough resources, maybe because I don't have, uh, you know, real big plan how to succeed in this new chapter, this new career, for whatever reason. And then, what I do by knowing that there is a physical, material, tangible obstacle, using my free will, I transform my understanding about the situation, not underestimating this new inflow of information, but I would do like that. Okay, I might have some troubles, problems, obstacles that are uh, gonna prevent me to be successful in this new career that I want to undertake. But then, knowing that I have the qualities, being a Capricorn, that I usually succeed, that I am this and not this, then I will make the decision that I'm going to break this, let's say, big plan, big obstacle on five smaller steps to, that are going to be uh, combined, this big overall success plan idea, uh, vision and uh, resources to back it up. I'll take five different steps, making sure that I'm going to take the next one when I'm completely secure of the development of the first one. This means that I need to know one fifth of this whole, you know, plan, vision, idea, strategy, whatever you want to call it. Trusting myself. And I'm going to also get inspired by the emotional evaluation of the inflow of energy coming to me and what do we have here i have cancer moon moon is very sensitive and i learned how to control it i just learned how to stop being uh, influenced by the information coming from my emotional approach to things so i go back to the prediction for the month of april and i want to start this new career I know how to deal with the practical approach, how to compensate it, but then we get to the emotional part of it. And what I do, this is a card that represents uh, the ability of someone to be very successful when it comes to defending, protecting something that they really, really find important and significant in their life. I stop here and I say, well, on an emotional side, I will get this positive uh, supportive energy because I can change my understanding about the situation with my free will. So I choose to get inspired from the positive information coming from my moon sign prediction and based on that, knowing myself, trusting myself and evaluating myself right here and right now that I am completely aware in position to succeed because I know the obstacles, I know the pluses, the minuses, so I make the decision. And since I understand how important for me is to start this new chapter no matter what, because I'm gonna die if I don't do it, for example, <laughs> uh, and I have the proof that I can protect it, I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna act according to this mm, reality checked understanding of who I am right here based on the inflow of information to do with my ascendant, to do with my sun, to do with my, uh, let's say, moon sign. I hope this is making sense to you as well. And uh, of course, this is me and this is how I would do it. Of course, you can decide to do something completely else, 
different. For example, you know that you are very, very emotional and you are usually being guided by your emotions. You don't even need to know what this other these other two predictions to the ascendant and the sun sign are talking about knowing that you are quite emotional and not able to um, trust your emotions so to speak in order to always be supported by them and not to be sabotaged by them you can of course take the decision that if you don't have 100 percent support on the emotional level you're not gonna take any approach to any situation and this might be you know the um, process that uh, you might use for yourself or you might be very practical or very down-to-earth individual who is not so much um, you know influenced by what you don't see you don't uh, touch you don't um, have solid proof of and then of course it's also very personal approach to the situation you decide I'm not gonna use uh, the opportunity the uh, free will that I have to change everything in my consciousness so that I change the overall idea about things I'm only gonna stick to what is solid what is really confirmed and working let's say and you say okay i'm gonna say no i'm not gonna start my new career in this period because the practical realization of the things the mundane um, establishment is no so i'm giving these examples just to you know point to the fact that we are all free to decide how to influence our decisions based on the information that we receive and on top of that not only that we should uh, always try to um, understand who we are to the very essence of that understanding constantly uh, improve it uh, you know change it if we have to transform it if we have to but also we need to uh, let's say at least be aware that there is intuition and this is a tool that it's also very beneficial uh, in processes like this when in periods that are very uncertain uh, for the world for ourselves to use these uh, tools like intuitive approach to things and uh, you know support each other ourselves with exactly this ability I will leave it up to you to decide if uh, this video is helpful or supportive I really hope that at least I managed to give you another perspective of how to utilize the information that comes from uh, any reading astrological tarot uh, psychic doesn't really matter and not to get confused thank you for your time